You know, sometimes Mother Nature does things to drive engineers crazy. This week's heavy rains, a perfect example. Just north of Little Sioux, a deluge brought a mighty railroad to a standstill. And KTV News Watch 7's Amanda Crawford has the story. An army of engineers swarmed into Little Sioux on Thursday, just hours after torrential rains knocked out this bridge on the Union Pacific Line between Council Bluffs and Sioux City. Fortunately, none of the eight trains a day that need to cross here were around when the bridge fell. But now, the race is on to replace it. First, UP has to get the wreckage out, and to do that, they need to get to it. Load after load, over a thousand tons of rock builds a road and stabilizes the riverbank. This bridge had recently passed an inspection, so how could the center support have given way? Our chief meteorologist, Bill Ramby, thinks he knows. While they didn't have quite the rain we did, this part of Monona and Harrison County had several inches of rain in just a couple of hours' time, and this Monona Harrison ditch was forced out of its banks, enough power to wash out the bridge. Regardless of the cause, the need to build a new one remains. As the crew that will build it arrives, Engineers use machines that normally lift derailed train cars in a tug of war to clear the way. And after only a few hours, the old is hauled away to make room for the new. With Chief Photojournalist Scott Buer, Amanda Crawford, KETV News Watch 7. A Union Pacific is rerouting trains to keep freight moving, and while they don't know yet exactly what design the new bridge will be, they say they're going to work around the clock until it's done.